Where'd he go? Buddy asking about Killer the Shop Cat. There he is. Come here, bud. Hey, come here. Well, it's going to show him. There he is. Come here. Come here. There is a canned pet food shortage. Uh, even on canned dog food now. Well, he's going to eat a little bit of it. He don't like dry food. But I keep telling him that's all there is. That's all I can get. So, uh, he don't come around in the shop too much anymore. He is a free-range tomcat nowadays. I'll see him out at the edge of the woods eating something. Usually a bird or something he catches. But there he is. He's still here. Good afternoon, everybody. I have decided to take the plunge into learning how to work with Kydex. Now I've had uh, several requests for Kydex sheaths. I've never done them. I've always done leather. I've dabbled with some uh, what they call poor man's Kydex with PVC pipe uh, before. But that's really a lot, a lot of trouble. And it never comes out really good. So I have ordered a little bit of Kydex. I'll be here in a few days. And I need to start with making a press. Now I'm going to make a small one to start with. It will handle pretty much every knife I make. And what I have here is two pieces of leftover countertop. From whenever he did all these, when I got all the stuff for the tables. A couple pieces left over. And I looked at a bunch of Kydex presses on YouTube and the uh, the square mats that you put down on the floor like the Harbor Freight mats uh, those work for a lot of guys but they have to use two or three layers so I went to Harbor Freight and found this thick one to six dollars and something might as well say seven dollars and I think that'll work just fine and I've got it marked and scored go ahead and cut it in half I finished cutting it in half cuts pretty easy Really thick stuff. Alright, so now we got two pieces. And what I'm going to do, we're going to put it here. See, now this little cutout here that um, it's for a handle, we'll put it toward the back. Because our main work area is going to be right in here. See now, once I get my Kydex, this little knife here, this is the Wallace Junior Bushcrafter. That'll be the first test candidate to see. See, there's plenty of room, and this is not a big knife. We'll see how it does. Put them towards the back. Now just line them up like this. Now I've got a hinge big enough to do this. But wouldn't you know I cannot find it. Or actually a pair of them. But uh, <laughs> I'll just have to go get one I guess. See, we're just going to make us a mark, a reference mark. See, you need something better than that.
There we go. Get out the sharpie. And get it lined back up like I want it. Got a thunderstorm coming up on us. If y'all hear something, that's what it is. Which is good. Cool it off. It is hot, 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 hot. Went to town this morning and got supplies for the month and good googly goo. Gasoline ain't the only thing that's high priced. All right, we'll put us a mark here. And every knife shop I know is struggling. Not just knife shops, all kind of shops. And I'm no different. I'm struggling also. That's why we're going to try something new. Try to get this thing going again. <coughs> All right, now, got some of this that's been left over from another job a long time ago. Let's, uh, it's been sitting for a long time, so let me get it shook up good, and then we'll spray it down and put it on there. Good morning. Let's get back on our Kydex press build here. Now where we left off, I glued these on. They set overnight. Now remember this is the thick, the, the knee pad, the kneeling pad that you get at the Harbor Freight. Now what I did, I added this. These are laminated together. They was already that way. A piece of the uh, support system on these old desks that I salvaged. And these countertops that was the reason for that is I already have hinges I don't want to buy any more if I don't have to and just so we could put our hinge here and I've got enough we put one on either side but when I start to lift that up this is going to get in the way so already in the router table the same bit that I used to uh, chamfer the knife handles I have a chamfering bit. I'm gonna run over there and chamfer this to a 45 or close to it, and I think that'll give a little bit of clearance so that won't that won't rub like that. Alright, we're gonna do that and come back and we'll look at it. Alright, there's our little chamfer edge we put on there. Line it up there. I said um, I already had these for a project that never never got done something came up and it just didn't ain't gonna happen all right now for the back side I'm using these longer um, deck type deck screws turn that straight it's gonna be a lot of force pulling against it Something like that. 
All right, for these, I'm just going to use the screws that came with it because they're short enough. But uh, first, I want to drill a pilot hole in there. Make it a little easier. Let's grab us a little bit. Bring it out just a smidge. We're going to make sure we clear it when we open it. That little gap in there is not going to hurt a thing. still amazed at this little tool here this little 18 volt cordless warrior brand from harbor freight i think i've had it almost three years now i know it at least over two and it just keeps on a going give us a good swing That happens sometimes. See that screw? Piece of brass from the there it is. Whatever got stuck in the thread or pot metal, whatever it is. And these are not solid brass screws. I mean hinges. They're brass coated, I found out. Which is why the project they was bought for never happened. <laughs> I was going to cheat and save a little bit of money on brass. And it didn't work out. There we go. There is our... 680 might as well say seven dollar seven dollars and if you buy these they're about ten dollars a set so and if you have scrap laying around that'll work just fine just say at a guess twenty dollars now hang on just a minute and i'll show you how i'm gonna set up the clamp system on it well, all righty Now what I'm going to do, say for this, uh, this is going to get the first sheath, this, this uh, little bush crafter here. We're going to pretend there's Kydex on there. I do actually have some coming later today. When it gets here, we'll try one and see. But it sits in there like that with your Kydex on it, wherever it winds up. See right there. Now I'm going to fasten this down to a workbench somewhere because I want the back end still. I don't want the whole thing to be moving around. But I'm going to take probably these two clamps for now, these two old, uh, whatever they are. I don't mean, know what brand they are. I've had them for years. One's going to go here. gonna go there and 
I may change clamps besides these. Anyway, you get the idea. And that's going to tighten down on it and form and give it the form. Let me play around with these clamps. Let me try a couple of different ones I've got. It might be easy. All right, let's go with this clamp here, with this style. Uh, it's much easier to screw down. And it closes it very flat. Presses all the way against it. So, and I think just one, because it's closed all the way around, one will be fine. Because <coughs> um, the sheaths I've seen people make, uh, I think it looks like it's better to do them one at the time anyway. And just put them right in the center and do one at a time. But there we go. There is a Kydex press. Pretty cool, huh? Now I'll take this clamp here and I'm going to cut this pipe. It's going to be a dedicated just for this. Just so it's not out sticking around in the way too much. There we go. Presses down, forms to it. I see no reason why that won't work. And I don't see the need for a handle on it. Got that lip right there. Just pick it up. Might put me a fancy sticker on there. There we go. We'll give it a real test run later today. I guess it's time I get away from all the traditional stuff and go with move into the modern world. How about that with these things? <laughs> Alright, I like it. One more look. Alright, here we go. Kydex Express is in its new home. Got the clamp cut down. Where it'll fit just right. And have it anchored to the workbench so it won't move around. I think that's pretty important to uh, keep everything still. Now I rearranged it a little bit. I moved my, my little leather drill press uh, down a couple of feet. Still got plenty of room to use it. And my Arbor press that I use for stamping is still right where it was. Now I wish I need a bigger arbor press than that in the shop to uh, uh, do like bearings and normal, not machine work, but you know, something a little bit bigger. Uh, all you know, anything to do with leather, and I think the Kydex too has to be in a pretty clean environment. So you don't get dirt and greasing all over it, which is why this oven here, toaster oven, was gave to me uh, several years back uh, for the shop. But Mama saw it and wanted it in the house. And it sat on the counter in the kitchen for months, and she never used it. So then she made me pick it up and take it out to the pantry we got a walk-in pantry and put it on the shelf and it sat there ever since now I didn't steal it out of the house so y'all can't tell on me but I asked her I said are you gonna ever use that thing probably not was her answer so here it is out here <laughs> I'm gonna use this one just for Kydex might even cook me some lunch or something in there but uh because this one is nice and clean my tempering oven is basically the same thing different brand but the same thing but over the years it has got uh nasty you know oil all kind of stuff in it so if i have the option without having to buy anything there we go this is for kydex kydex and burritos right there now I still got plenty of room here on my 
granite plate for I do my stamping and all that with my leather. I, I did have a question. Was this a precision granite plate like machinists used? No, it is not. All it is is a um, it's a granite. This one is, but it's um it's the cutoff. It's got a sharp edge here. It's a cutoff from an old from a not an old but a countertop that uh, was picked up from a uh, the company that does that you know the granite countertops and that kind of thing but that's what it is it, it's not a precision plate at all but it works very very well for uh, stamping leather you know something solid to hit against all right there we go I am watching for the mailman and we'll do a demonstration on the press and see if it works I'm not even sure if it works but uh, I'm sure it will but uh so you had a little clamp goes on something like that by George I think I got it it's here it's here it's here Kydex has arrived. Now this I ordered, I thought I ordered green, the OD green. But I looked back and I must have hit the wrong button. So got some red and there's some black. All right, let's give this thing a try and see, uh, see what we can come up with here. Now, like I mentioned, this is the Wallace Jr. Bushcrafter. This is an old one I've had for a long time. Let's uh, mark us out a spot here. Now i got to put a pencil holder over here. Hang on. Okay, because everything I've seen, you have to have plenty of room, and I understand that, plenty of room on either side. And turn it this way. Because the first one's going to be a fold over. Let's see, let's make it just a little bit bigger, just in case. Okay, let's go right behind us here to the bandsaw and cut that. Let's go ahead and uh, get the oven preheated. I've got it at 250 degrees. And I think that should do it. Alright, let's cut this and we'll let it get hot and we'll see what that looks like. Alright, I'm going to try to get the best camera angle I can because it is... Uh, It's hot. And I think it's ready. Okay, let's put it down. Here. All right, hang on. Let's get this turned off. Now he's a little too much. I'm just going to have to trial and error it here for a few minutes. Now I've got it clamped down really tight. 
and from what I've seen it's uh, 10 to 15 minutes maybe a little bit more and we'll take it out and look at it and check the time I think we'll go at least 15 minutes maybe a little bit more on the first one I hope all right it's been about 20 minutes let's uh, unclamp and see what it looks like Okay, we've got definition around the blade, like we're supposed to have. Alright, let's uh, step right here and trace it out to where we need to trim it. Now remember, this is all new. This is the first one. Let's see, so we're going to trim it pretty big. They're just a little bit bigger a little bit maybe a quarter inch more all right turn around to the bandsaw and we're going to trim this off and uh get some grommets out now i don't have the proper grommets for this but i have some bit of work i think no i didn't order a whole bunch of stuff to start with i'll make sure i could do it first all right, very first one. Uh, not a overwhelming success. I don't have the proper grommets, which I will order up some of those here in a couple of days. And I don't think I had my my Kydex hot enough. It's just not clicking into place like it should, but uh. That's just the prototype. That's the first one. So, I'll get some proper grommets and got plenty of Kydex to practice with. And we'll try it again. There we go. But I am proud of the press. The press did very well. I think. There it is right there. So, thank you all for watching. Thank you for your support. It is very, very hot. So, I am going to the air conditioner that way. <laughs> thank you for your support, and I'll see you next time.